Well, has it been a long night for you? Um, it's, been, it's been a long night for me. And to be honest, it hasn't even started yet because the time now must be about half past seven on Wednesday evening. See, I've left it a bit late to get all this sorted. But anyway, let's do the answers now. So it's Bob's second weekly COVID community quiz. It's the part two section, general knowledge and sport. I hope you found it a lot easier than last week because I've tried to dumb it down for, you know, most of you. So... Um, I'm going to go through the questions and answers fairly quickly. Question one, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Easy. Question two, Maurice Micklewhite. Who's that then? Michael Caine. In the TV uh, series uh, Tracy Beaker, who played Tracy Beaker? Danny Harmer. Then I ask you about what TV series you've come across Evie Oddly, uh, Aquaria and Sasha Velour. Sasha Velour sounds like a James Bond person to me. Uh, and it's RuPaul's Drag Race. The three female characters, number five, three female characters in the game, Pluto, Mrs White, Miss Scarlet and Mrs Peacock. You need all of those for the point. The multiple choice question. So Lepidoptery, uh, I gave you a choice of butterflies, flowers or Chinese vases. Well, it's the collecting of butterflies. Temping Bowling, maximum score, I gave you um, the options of 300, 320 or 346. Maximum score you can get in Temping Bowling is 300. Canary Islands, what are they named after? Well, hopefully none of you fell for what was my very obvious attempt to fool you. It's named after dogs, not birds, not cats. How many Von Trapp children were there? Sound of Music, this is question nine now. There were seven, blooming hell, they got busy. Um, question 10, who won the last I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Jacqueline Jossa. Could you see standards? Um, question 11, how many netballs are, uh, sorry, how many players are in the netball team? There are seven players. Question 12, what sport do you come across a Boston crab? Wrestling. Question 13, how many numbers are there on a roulette wheel? I don't think I would have got this. It's 37 numbers because it goes zero to 36. So 36 plus the zero is 37. Um, an orchidometer is a medical instrument used to measure testicles. That's right, the testicles. Well, and what do the America, Americans call it? An eggplant, and we, of course, call it an aubergine. Uh, question 16, the capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh. That's Riyadh. Question 17, the longest river entirely in England I would hope most of you have got this. It's the River Thames. That's right, the River Thames. Question 18. The Italian novel for children translated in over 240 languages. It's The Adventures of Pinocchio. Or Pinocchio. So if you've written Pinocchio or anything like that, you get your point. Question 19. This is about my cousin Celine Dion. Uh, her 1988 Eurovision song, uh, where she represented a country with Ne Parte Pas en Moi, that haunting tune you heard earlier um, and she represented Switzerland bizarre the food additive at question 20 the food additive made from the bone and skins of animals gelatin <laughs> question 21 what food of the gods is said to bestow immortality ambrosia the food of the gods ambrosia not rice pudding ambrosia question 22 um I'd be interested to hear if anyone actually got question 22. I've never even heard of a carpet bag steak. But what's placed in a pocket of beef to make one? It's an oyster. Oh, disgusting. It's like eating phlegm. Um, 23. What number was I thinking of between 0 and 5? Very easy one. It was, of course, the number 2. Um, this is the one that hopefully Hodgkinson's got. Otherwise, they're really stupid. Because question 24. PB is the chemical symbol for what? It's lead. Clearly it's lead. Now, this was an interesting one. Snoop Dogg, Naomi, so on question 25. Snoop Dogg, Naomi Campbell, Gerard Depardieu and David Hasselhoff all been arrested for what? For in-flight or airport misbehaviour. So something around that, you've got your point. Question 26. In motor racing, what does a black flag signal? It's driver dismissed. Driver dismissed. Question 27. What's the sign language used by bookies at the race courses? Tic Tac. Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. It's tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Right. Question twenty-eight. Multiple choice. Oh, I like this one. So, 
28. Coprostastophobia is the fear of either constipation, erectile dysfunction or bladder leakage. It is, of course, the fear of constipation. One I'm sure that many of us have. Eat your fruit. Eat your fruit and veg. Question 29. Which English monarch died in the toilet? Was it Lizzie 1, Georgie 2 or Eddie 3? It was B, George II. Question 30. Um, this was a question about how many rounds did, rounds did Mike Tyson take to finish off Frank Bruno in Las Vegas in their fight in 1989? Um, you had options of 3, 4 and 5 and the answer was C. It was 5 rounds. Now, um, did you get the anagram, the English football legend, Dragon Knobs? That's right. It's the top keeper himself, Gordon Banks. Um, I'm going to give you another one now. This is just for fun. Uh, see if you can get this one. I'll tell you the answer at the end. Boob, as in boob, embryo, boob embryo. Anyway, question 32, President of France, is indeed Emmanuel Macron. Now, which Northern European country, number 33, uh, there's six villages called Silly, 12 called Billy and a couple called Platt. It's France. Wouldn't have got that myself. 34, you're digging a hole straight through from uh, the capital of New Zealand, straight through the earth um, into Europe. And of course, you hit the lovely loamy soil of Spain. The sleepy marsupial, 19 hours a day, having eucalyptus leaves. Thought I might catch you out there. Well, it's the koala bear. Now, can I just say, if you've put koala, because I argue with people about this, if you get a koala, you get your point. If you've actually written koala bear, give yourself a bonus point, because that's what I say. I say koala bear. So you actually get a bonus point if you've written the word bear. Take that, sign the jewels. Question 36, who are Scooby-Doo's four human companions? Well, it's Fred, Daphne, Shaggy and Velma. We all get that? No good if you've if you got two or three of them. You don't get half a mark. It's only one point there. What are the four stations in Monopoly? Question 37. Fenchurch Street, Liverpool Street, King's Cross and Marylebone. Question 38. Who wrote Dracula? Of course, it was Bram Stoker. And I don't think I've still read that. Finally. Question 39. Where does the Oxford and boat race finish? Mort Lake. Question 40. Did you get this one? Two darts. Um, the only score you can't get with two darts under 100. And the answer was 99. Question 41. Uh, X take that star, Jason Orange. What was his name at birth? His name at birth was indeed Jason Orange. Question 42. Elton John's name at birth? Reginald Dwight. 43. How many drafts are there on the board at the start of a game? There are 24 drafts. Hmm. Tricky. Question 44. Which actress was the mother of Carrie Fisher? That was Debbie Reynolds. Question 45. A tough one, but it's a 50-50. Who's older out of Ant or Deck? It's Deck, but by less than three months, and they're both 44. So the answer is Deck. Question 46. Um, how many legs does an aardvark have? Well, it's four, stupid. If anyone didn't get four, will you let me know? Um, question 47. In the Rocky films, what was the name of Rocky's trainer? Mickey Goldmill, for God's sake. I've never heard of that. That's just stupid. Mickey Goldmill. Question 48. What herb do you find in green pesto? That's basil. 49. Who's the BBC Women's Footballer of the Year 2020? It was the superb Lucy Bronze. And then did you complete this? Mamma Mia, here I go again. It would be the next line. My, my, how can I resist you? Now, if you got that right, you get a point. But you've got an option here. You've got to be very honest here. Think about how much do you throw yourself into this? Did you really go for it? Did you go and find any sort of uh, flowing sort of dresses or wigs to put on? What did you do? Uh, you can have up to an extra three bonus points here. Uh, I'm going to leave it to you to award yourself. Really depends. If you just sat there and go, this is it, I'm not going to join them with this because now I can see me. You don't get any. In fact, I'd probably take the point off you. Right, um, so that's the end of the quiz. Um, hopefully you've totted all those up. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I certainly enjoyed making it, um, and um, it gives me a chance to show off. So if you want to tot your scores up, uh, put them down in the comment section on YouTube, um, and then either later tonight, if I'm still up, or tomorrow, I'm going to go through and tot up all the scores, and just, just give us a leaderboard, and I'll, I'll publish that somehow so you can see how you did it compared to everyone else. 
Uh, and if you enjoyed it, do share it with your friends. It's, it's going to be up there uh, forever and eternity anyway. So it's there. Just enjoy. All right. Bye-bye uh, and have a happy Thursday in due course. Have a really nice Easter. Bye.